I can't believe you're still living in this dump. Hoping to get a nicer place, but right now things are tight because... Because your good-for-nothing husband refuses to get a job. Mother, please. Hey, babe. You're here. Ladies, if you're hungry, then it's ready. Hmm. At least he cooks. But maybe he should uh, clean up a little, don't you think? Dinner sounds great, babe. Awesome. Just head into the dining room and enjoy. Mm. You've ordered takeout? Yeah. And Cassandra, you'll love it. It's from a local Italian place, and I even got gluten-free pasta because I know about your gluten intolerance. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I've kept quiet long enough. What is it, Cassandra? You sit around all day sponging off of my daughter's income, and you're too lazy to clean up a little. And worse than that, you can't even cook a simple dinner. You order takeout on Eve's dime. That's not true. Okay, I'm here all day working hard on my company. Correct me if I'm wrong, but a business should be making money. From what I've seen, it's been stuck in neutral for over a year. Mother, I think we should give him a chance to. Eve, I told you when you first started dating him that he was a loser. You're such a smart and capable girl. Don't let a weak man drag you down. You'll be supporting him the rest of your life. Sandra, I understand your frustration, but my business is truly on the verge of a breakthrough. Yeah, that's why even I invited you here tonight. That's why I splurged on this meal. Suddenly, I'm not hungry. Eve, I have a wonderful attorney. You can be out of this marriage in a week. You can have your life back. Me? Cassandra, how can you say that? Honestly, Eve and I love each other. Mother, please, just have some dinner. I'll have the attorney call you. Just think it over. This is about your future happiness. You don't need him. Cassandra, you are way out of line. And what are you gonna do about it, Steve? You're not a real man. You don't even have what it takes to make me a grandmother. Huh. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. That's all you have to say to her. My mom. Why don't you ever stand up for me? Maybe I'm tired of making excuses for you. Quite frankly, you've been working on this business of yours for over a year while I pay the bills and I clean up after you. When we decided to get married, what did we talk about? We spoke about the importance of trusting each other, supporting each other. Eve, I believe in this. I'm not sure anymore. Look, just hang in there, okay? I need you. Well, I don't know why you brought me back here. Trust me, it's a surprise. It is looking cleaner in your apartment. Wait, does this mean you finally kicked out that husband of yours? Nice to see you too, Cassandra. Oh, hell. Mother, Steve and I have wonderful news. Let me guess. You hired a maid on your dime. We did hire a maid, actually. But Steve paid for it. What? Look, Steve. I don't like this very much. Even losers get lucky sometimes. Maybe you won a few dollars at the dog races, and now you're trying to show off a little. But you don't fool me. That's enough, Mother. I won't have you speak to my husband that way. You're being extremely rude and disrespectful. If you won't listen to what Steve has to say, I'd rather you leave. Please, Eve. I can speak for myself. How can you talk to your mother like that? This loser has turned you against me. No. It's you who's tried to poison me towards him all this time. You only see what's on the surface. Cassandra? I know. 
All you've seen is a lazy guy lounging around the house, wasting time while his wife's working. I get that. But for the past year, I've been working 14 hours a day, seven days a week on my app that frankly, is gonna revolutionize the insurance mm. industry. Another unsuccessful pipe dream. Steve has been working on this software idea for a long time and as a married couple, we both decided it would be best for both of us if Steve really devoted everything to make this possible. So you wanted him to quit his job and just hang around the house all day? That's what partnership is. That's what a marriage is, Cassandra. Well, it seems pretty one-sided to me. Well, even I invited you here tonight to tell you that our partnership has paid off. We just signed a major contract with North America's largest insurance company. Well, what does that mean? Um, it means that we're rich. You mean, Steve actually... I... I didn't. We did. You see, without a loving partner standing by my side, supporting me through all of this, I would have never been able to make it through. All those nights and days cooped up in the apartment coding. Yes, the apartment was a mess, and sometimes we had to order food. So, how much money are we actually talking about? Well, next week we're heading to the city to look at a big new house. We're gonna need the space. This is unbelievable. I guess I underestimated you, Steve. I'm sorry. But why do you need so much space? There's just the two of you. Well, actually... It's gonna be the three of us.